Yo, you know what time it is? Two eight and everything else, man. We got three hot topics for today. The they hitting Trump with Rico charges in Georgia. Golly, Kiki Palmer and Usher. Look, man, Memphis, y'all cutting up, boy. We finna get into it, man. Let's go. Blah. to address the Memphis situation first. Yes, it was a big old shootout, big old brawl. One thing I do want to talk about, we had this group of people jump on this cop. Knock his out. Don't beat his Hey, hey, I'm God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on this Knock his out. Don't. Listen to me carefully. I understand the frustration. I get it. I promise you I do. I need you to look at the bigger picture. Number one, we're dealing with a cop who had an abundance of compassion and care for human life. Legally, he could have easily shot every single person that was coming his direction after that. And on two occasions, well, one occasion specifically where he tried to turn and leave and he still couldn't because they were still fighting him. I need y'all to be careful with this. Here's why. In that moment, that cop, regardless of what he's been taught, that cop had compassion for people in that moment. We all know that he was probably taught by his, you know, uh, uh, field training officer that that group of people over there, well, you know, they're animals, they're, they're, they're deplorables, they're insert whatever derogatory nomenclature here, okay? He had compassion. Unfortunately, I think if he still wants to keep his job, if he still puts on the uniform after that incident, that's probably the last time he's going to have compassion for human life. What happened in this moment? Again, I understand your frustration. What happened in this moment in situations like this? This gives birth to cops doing things like body slamming little black girls, putting their knees in their back putting a knee on somebody's neck and glaring at the people standing by with the hand on the firearm, waiting for you to move. We got to be careful. Again, I understand the frustration. I genuinely do. But we have to start thinking these things through. To be fair, it would have been a totally different situation after those two people jumped on, three or four people, how many it was, jumped on that cop, he pulled his firearm in even the playing field. We would have, y'all would have burnt down Memphis. Got to be careful with that. All right. On the other news, since we're talking legal talk, uh, look, man, Trump and RICO charges. Specifically, the indictment brings felony charges against Donald John Trump. Every individual charged in the indictment is charged with one count of violating Georgia's racketeer, influenced, and corrupt Organizations Act through participation in a criminal enterprise in Fulton County, Georgia, and elsewhere to accomplish the illegal goal of allowing Donald J. Trump to seize the presidential term of office beginning on January 20th, 21. Okay, I get it. Y'all don't like Trump. You want to do him in. However, I need you to understand the chances of a former president actually going to jail is going to cost far more resources than this country wants to spend because we have to assign secret service to this individual. No one's going to want to spend eight hours in a jail watching anybody uh, because of secret service. Now, I don't think he's actually going to jail. In the event, he is prosecuted for whatever y'all say he did or whatever y'all decide to do at best i think he will probably be stuck in his mansion with an anchor monitor with secret service yeah that's that's pretty much but he's not going he's not going to jail with your cousin at he's not doing that uh it's just it's just not gonna happen it's too much money involved it's too much money in there and it's it's just i get it i get it everybody mad at somebody 
everybody's going to be the villain in someone's story, right? However, I do think a lot of resources are being wasted. But again, at the same time, it is what it is. We live in a, in a society where you can come up off of doing some doing somebody something. You know what I mean? If you want to take a moment to kind of attack somebody, you're going to get some fame. Do I think the DA try to get a little bit of fame? Eh, okay, I think a lot of people try to get a little bit of fame off the Donald Trump wave, you know, because he, he made some noise. You know what I'm saying? He stepped on some toes. He, he kind of did some stuff in the swamp. And now everybody upset and everybody want a piece of the pie. Okay, all right, it's, 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 I, I, hey, hey, do you, all right? Okay, look, what, I don't know what we're going to do with Usher. Usher, Usher, he, look, somebody say that your boyfriend's looking for me. Darius, you have allowed both Kiki and Usher to run up a bag, capitalize on your insecurity. Now you sitting at home, changing diapers, and he's singing songs about you with your ex-girl. I, I don't, I, you know what, y'all, I just, I don't. I, I don't, bruh, um, it it drop tomorrow. It's going to drop tomorrow. It, it is going to drop. The bag is already secured. It's, it's, it's there. And you're not going to get none of the bag. Well, like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell. Uh, Check the link below. You got your shirts on deck. It is what it is. Get your body about tactical swag, man. This old from body by old body about tactical. Cole from the academy. Cole from the community security. We love y'all and we out of here, man. Keep it safe, man. Blah!